To swap pairs, we want to write a method named swap pairs that switches the order of array or values in an array list of strings in a pairwise function. Our method should switch the order of the first two values, next two, and so on and so forth. Gives us an example here. And if there's an odd number of values in the list, the last value should not be switched. So we're going to handle that first, and then we're going to go through our list. Let's do a public static. We're not returning anything, so void. And we are going to call this swap pairs. Inside of here, we're going to take an array list of type string. And we'll just call this list. And now we are inside of our method. Let's handle our length first. I'm going to create a new variable called length, and we're going to set it equal to list.size. This is the method that will give us the size. Now, if it's odd, this is going to check for us. If our length modulus 2, if it does not equal to 0, that means we have some remainder, meaning it's odd, then we'll just do length minus equals 1. So we just take 1 off the length. Now let's do a for loop that will go through this array list. So we'll have int a is equal to 0, a has to be less than our overall length, and we're just going to have, we're going to increment a every single time. But since we're dealing with a swap of two values in here, we are going to do a plus equals to 2, so we can increment by 2 every single time. So that's going to be the R header for the for loop. Now inside of here, we want to do our swap. We're going to make a temporary variable called string or temp we'll do string temp and we're going to set it equal to the current uh, element at this index because we're going to switch it so in or string temp is equal to list dot get a so we're going to get the element here now is where we're going to do our swap so we're going to do list dot set and we're going to pass in our uh, the place of our current index and we're going to do list.get, but we're going to get the next index, a plus 1, and then we'll get the element and set it here. Next is where we're going to do our next set. So we'll do list.set. Oh, forgot a parenthesis right here. Pretty important. We'll do list.set, and then inside of here, so we already set a, we want to set the next one. We're going to do a plus 1, so this is the next place, and we're going to put temp in here because it's holding that variable that we just replaced. And that's pretty much it for our swapping. If we close our for loop, we can close this function, we can submit it, and we should pass the tests. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. And that's going to be it for 10.2 swap pairs.